and welcome back. We are now in the second men's quarterfinals. My name is Sean O'Neill. Sitting next to me is Adam Bavro. Adam, so wonderful to have you here. Alan Wong, far side, black top, serving against going into this match. I think most players were expecting Kanak Ja to be here. Right. Let's see which one of these players either just sets the, the such great hands over the table with a lot more finesse. There you see the nice counter attack. Kanak Ja was incredible. He was trailing all of game one, and then uh, well, and then it was over. Yeah, we've seen Allen play some really strong. Often will play off of the pace. Allen is so relaxed. Back to Sharon Algetti leading 7-2 now. First game. Look at that shot. Inside out forehand, no chance. Oh, and very nice banana flip. Just great court sense. Maybe not the biggest hitter, but he really makes the opponent work positive outlook. Doesn't get down on himself. They're just really smart. Staying completely focused. Or say where the opponent has wingspan, strength, even speed. And right there when they want to. But at the same time, I think with Allen. That are a little higher risk. <laughs> and he didn't hesitate on that one, but that. And now. <laughs> makes up for it with a down the line back. Four. It did feel forced, right? Yeah, and now. Goes for it again. Sharon making it a one point game. And Alan Wong escapes by the narrowest of margins, 11 9. And that's what he did. It almost reached a foregone conclusion that they were just too good. But then all of a sudden you had the Jimmy Butlers come up now. I mean, their games have continually improved with these ITTF Junior Tour events. I mean, they're getting great, so much higher now than it's ever been in the country. Oh, look at that nice backhand off the bat. like Sharon is a little bit tighter than he was in game one. And and as you said, Adam, Sharon well, in his redirect loops. Look at that backhand. See, this is a problem. You've really got to know your... Um, he's also got a bigger middle than most, being a tall player. So if you can play to the middle like there and then have such a clean, comfortable opening. That's, an, again, a very strong... Just really mixing it up well. And that, that served out Han Shao in his first match and then Chance Friend in order to reach this quarterfinal. A slightly luckier draw with having Shao Yu the top seed. Another one of the more memorable backhands in the U.S. Little roll reversal there. Yeah. Allen keeping, his, uh, keeping Sharon pinned in the backhand. Oh, court. and then here comes the monster backhand, which Punisher. is a little bit more safe, knowing that you might score a point that way which then yeah. lands itself to it's more off. formulated. And um, I mean, I just see the maturity, but Sharon has really, I think, mastered more of the placement, like a strong attack at every opportunity. Look at these deep serves. I mean, he's going for a backhand serve, which generally signifies he's not confident with the forehand. And brother's gone. Oh, that was just such Not necessarily how much topspin is on it, but how tough it is to read. And that serve just jumped away from it, caught the back edge of the Sharon stepped around for that ball. Might have had a chance to come back. And now you can see a little bit of a forced serve. It'll be very interesting to see how these players battle. So a step around. Sharon's going to have to stay closer if he can. Saying, I'm going to be putting some strong offense on you, both with the deep serves. That was a nice deep push there. A little bit surprised in those. Something long into the backhand and fast because they're crowding the table. Fighting to get back in this match. And that's what Allen needs to do. He needs to get two balls. He does have longer strokes because of his height. It was a really nice controlled no! backhand block. Like Allen had a few shots and then softened up just a little bit, and Sharon got right back in it. <laughs> Going for 
for a bomb on the first ball. It's always a well-placed ball. And if he sees an opening from the opponent, he might add a little bit more spin half of the draw that is completely opened up, but it'll be between Stephen Wong and Mark Kaczynski at the U.S. National Championships. And there's a nice forehand. I nice didn't take that ball back down the line to the backhand yeah. because he's really been living in the backhand corner and been, he's been very aggressive on his serves. Yeah. And that's yeah. just a freebie right there. That's a well-controlled follow. And that's something we don't see too often, a receiver jumping into the middle and then as far as mixing it up, changing up the placement a little bit. Yeah, even that shot right there, he's got it. He could have taken it to the backhand and probably put it on, but see those loops right now by Sharon. Oh, that ball is well forcing Sharon to take a ball from out in front. Again, smart. It's going to be helpful out here. That was really the first. That forced a rush shot that he had to try and lift a lot. That okay. ball hit the edge. Anyone notice that? We'll see. You didn't notice? You can always go to the replay later. Again, the soft receives. So Allen able to get it, but Allen doing a slightly better job. Oh, that was a nice backhand. Side. Again, well-placed, but he's also going to have the larger middle or elbow section. Oh, that's, again, he, he, he gets jammed. He's looked a little bit more hesitant and cautious. That's a nice backhand opening. Well-placed onto the body from Shin right now. He's taking away all his power. You could just see Allen having to... Literally and figuratively. Mm -hmm. And there. Inside what? out, too. Still bending. Away. Happens to... Allen looks so calm to me right now. Definitely a must-win game. I think that's just his demeanor. a little more free. Reverse pendulum for the point. And Escape. a nice, nice deep one. And I think probably anyone that played like semifinalist going with a backhand short serve. Yo! Top levels. You don't see a lot of flat hits in the top level. Yo! Wow, Allen deep. really. Keep the pressure on the opponent. <laughs> and there we go, some spin from his wrist, so loose and snappy. Strong receive, but the follow-up attack. And every single opportunity to get that first attack into a good location. Look at that, wide to the forehand, get us something to work Taking with. Taking the ball early from near the table. This is the pressure that Allen needs to keep on. Sharon's placement is so precise, he's been controlling the points. Just and at all. Oh! Nice drop to the elbow. Oh! That's, that's just the that? opponent make him cover a little bit more deeper push. And just going for big winners. There was a little hesitation on the Serve return with more of an irritant than let me take advantage of something he might be doing. But that's a nice block out to the forehand. Well placed again to the backhand side. Now he's sort of stopped the comeback train, taking control. Oh, that ball, it looked like it caught the net possibly. Yeah. A little bit reaching off. for the ball a little bit at the end. And... Oh. oh, huge point due to it. And uh, still and couldn't take a the time, point. A timeout.
by Team Halgetti. I don't know if necessarily right back now. Hand. He's staying short in control. Nice loop. But this is the type of point that Allen wants. Once again, there's the deep serve. And when you're expecting the deep serve, it's not that tough to load it. But it really jams your opponent. A little bit surprised that yeah. Allen, I mean, he started hitting the shots. Center, but I don't think he should have missed it by that much. Now he's, again, staying with the high toss serve. And there, got the backhand snappy hit after a very heavy. And I think that. So you can paddle, but sent it long. Those are quality blocks, and Adam... You've noticed the last shot was the soft one. He just played a touch ball that broke the rhythm. Oh, look at that shot. That's Left insane. across the body and yeah. hit it away. And that was a great deep serve. And the two-point lead here in game six. Oh, that's, that's just... Okay, some liveliness coming back into Sharon hey, right. Algetti to miss two balls like that that you should take 95% of the time. That was a beautiful backhand off the bounce down the line. And it's just uncanny for somebody that tall. It's the second time this game <laughs> is enough. They'll probably bounce twice on the table. That was a very well placed Counter loop when he's backing up or off the table. The battle of the backhand, the exact same technique, just right off the bounce, so fluid, so easy. Left-handed right. attempt from Sharon El Getty. The ball hit way I'm Looking towards that finish line. <laughs> Look at that. The deep serve against... So we've got seven match points. We're seeing Alan Wong in the semifinals before. And... Sharon is saying not Alan quite. I thought he had hit a winner. I mean, he's done it so many times so far. And Sharon clearly was going to stay in home Forehand court. coming right back. Sharon's still in it. And oh, now. net ball for the match. <laughs> you know what? It wasn't deuce in the seventh. <laughs> so, I mean, it was still a comfortable win for Alan Wong in game six.